here comes the scariest part of the Mercury 9. I need to solder in the spotlights and the power from the Mercury 9 itself. The reason this is the scariest part is, well, I have to get into that wiring mess. And I'm soldering magnet wire, and I really don't like soldering magnet wire. I gotta put a resistor on each spotlight, and then break into the wiring on this thing. I'm gonna solder the power leads for the Mercury 9 here. I'm gonna have them poking through this a hole right here. And then all oh, the underside is done. And well, I gotta mount C130, and then the underside is done. And I can seal that up. Okay. Yeah. Next project like this, if I so decide to undertake it, I need to see a psychiatrist. Just kidding, but this thing has been a piece of work. Let me tell you, lots of work in this thing. I have bought something recently that would be just as much work, and I'm trying to decide what to do with it. Keep it, sell it, what? I'll show you. Right there. Full Armor Unicorn Gundam version Ka. Yeah, and your eyes aren't deceiving you. You can tell what I paid for it. Paid $66 for that thing. I know it costs way more than that. That is one huge box. And my understanding is it is nothing but plastic in that box. Okay? Huge, huge box. I don't even want to know how many parts are in that. If I want to light that thing, I'm insane. Basically. Pretty much. Lighting that thing is just insane. Anyhow, folks, I'm going to get at it. I'm delayed enough. It's time to get to work. Be back later. All right, everyone, spotlight number one, spotlight number two are both working. Everything seems to be lighting up. This thing is fidgety. Sometimes I have to tap it to get it to work, and I don't know why. But it does work. You can see it blinking while I'm tapping. I'm not going to mess with it right now. But everything's working. This one's blinking for once. The inside is all lit up like it's supposed to be. So I've got everything the way it's ready to go. I have the wires poking through for the Mercury 9. Up next, mounting that C-130. Once that C-130's mounted, I no longer have to turn this base over. Again. Okay, this thing. This light here really just irritates me. There it goes. You guys remember, that one was broken and I had to rewire it and it does that sometimes it just doesn't want to come on sometimes okay I don't know why it's slightly not quite soldered correctly I'm not gonna get in there and try to fix it it was a major pain to fix but anyhow I am ready to mount the C-130 just wanted to show everyone I've got all the spotlights working I can't wait until it's dark to see what this thing looks like with those spotlights going I just can't. The street light needs a little fidgeting. It's not in good shape. It looks okay, but the neck of it's broken. I'm going to hit it with some uh, Microsol Crystal Clear. That's how I'm going to mount that C-130. Anyhow, let me go get that C-130 mounted up and we'll be ready to go. By the way, those two wires are live. If they short, I blow everything. So I think I ought to shrink tube one of them just to make sure that doesn't happen. Bam, back in a bit. Alright everyone, I couldn't resist. I'm not done with this. <laughs> you can't see her, but she's laughing. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm not done with this, but the C-130 is semi-glued semi down. You can see its position lights are not good. You can see the strobe blinking. It's way up above it because I haven't trimmed the fibers up yet. In fact, one of the position lights for the C-130 is way over here. But what I'm looking at is the spotlights. The spotlights illuminate the Mercury 9 look. very well. Yes, BB. Look at the ceiling. BB wants us to look at the ceiling. This is what you see above the Mercury 9. Because of these engine lights right here. Are just... Yeah, they're overwhelming the camera. But I couldn't resist powering this up and seeing what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It does. Yeah, I've got a lot more work to do on it. I think another five or six hours and this thing's done. Of course, I've said that like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I? 
I only spent two hours on it today. And that, that was getting the spotlights wired in, the C-130 wired in, and the power leads for the Mercury 9 itself wired in. The Mercury 9's not wired in. It's still being powered by my power supply off to the side. I haven't wired it in yet. That's going to be the last thing I do is mount this thing on the base and do its wiring. So when I get there, you know it's done, but I'm getting really close on this thing. I've got to finish up getting that C-130 down over there. Finish up with BB. <laughs> Who keeps wanting to play with this thing? Um, yeah, finish up C-130 and I can do the vegetation and the stop signs and get the fence up around here, get the building put in here and start putting the vegetation down. Once I'm done with that, it just leaves the radar tower and the Mercury 9 itself and we're done. The vehicles and the people. I gotta paint the people. <laughs> that ain't gonna take me that long. Yeah. Those things are so tiny, there's no eyes. All you do is a blob of flesh where the face goes, some hair color, and a few other things. BB, can you turn on the sun? Because for this model, that would be the sun. Have you found the switch? Turn it. There we go. That's just like the sun. Anyhow, everyone, just wanted to let you see I got the spotlights up and working. They're wired in. You can see how I did the wires on the back of the building. Okay. I damaged the paint back here, but I don't think anyone's ever going to figure out where. Nellie knows where, and she can't even see it, I don't think. Can you? No. Yeah, I did good. Anyhow, everyone, I've got a little bit more work to do. This one's almost done. It'll be done by the end of April. That light went out again. Uh-oh, I think that light is gone. That's not good. All right, I got to go. I got three minutes left to the battery. I got the C-130 mounted to the base. <clears throat> you can see the strobe is blinking. Okay. I need to do a little bit of work on that. You can see the green <laughs> position light is working. Look, wait, it's right over there! And the red one's working. I need to do, again, some work with those. They're not on there 100%. I just noticed something really glaring. You know, it's not too bad. It's not bad at all. It just looks bad from this angle. Okay. Um, what I don't have is the fiber for the strobe in place correctly and the fiber for the red light in place correctly. The green one is, and you can see the green one's much brighter than the strobe. Okay. I'm going to try something with the strobe real quick, but I got to get my fingers on that strobe and using the camera and <laughs> One hand isn't the easiest thing in the world to reach down here and do, but I bet if I get that strobe positioned better, it'll blink better. Well, you're not noticing a difference there. I'm going to get at it. <clears throat> I'm going to get the red in the strobe mounted into the base. I'm using some of my trusty Aves Epoxy Sculpt to mount these two fiber optics. And when I'm done, I can trim them and paint and then bloom them. I only have a little tiny touch-up paint to do on the C-130. It won't take very long. Sorry for the sniffles. It's called allergies. All right, I'll be back in a bit. When I'm done with this, I get to put this fence in. And that hut over there. The fence in the hut, stop signs. Once that's done, all I have to do is a little bit of painting, a little bit of wiring, and this is done. Oh yeah, all my groundwork. I gotta do my groundwork. I'm not 100% sure I'm doing that yet. I'm gonna try some experiments this weekend. Be back in a bit. Oh, Thunder came in to say hi. Thunder? Okay, he's not gonna pay attention today. He wants to investigate what I brought in. Okay, I had a really good scare with this fiber right here. I was trying to bloom the end of it underneath with that thing, and it caught on fire, and it shrunk up about a quarter inch of the fiber. I had trimmed it to be barely long enough. Yeah, so it, it's working. <laughs> Not happy. Now, some of you probably have never seen the underside of this thing, so let me show you. That's the strobe. You can see it briefly strobing with the Aves holding the fiber in. There's another one holding the fiber in. A lot of these fibers are held in with aluminum tape because that stuff is super sticky. It's designed to stick well. I can see one spot here where it came up. And 
Well, I was in a hurry back then. I'm not in so much a hurry now, and some of these are probably going to get the A's treatment, like those two. Okay? But you can see the underside of this thing is just a wiring nightmare. But it's all working, and I'm happy with it right now, and I'm not going to touch mess with it too much. And that strobe is blinking just properly. I'm going to trim those fibers later today and get working on something else. I'll be back in a little while. All right, I got in here and trimmed up the um, C-130's lights a little bit. The red one doesn't show all that well, although it's pretty bright. If I put my finger next to it, you can see a red glow on it. Just, I don't know why it's not showing so bright. It's full on in red, and like I said, you can see the red glow on some paper right next to it. The strobe looks good, though. That's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. And she's on there now. So, the C-130 is done. I need to touch up the paint a tiny bit. and put. I want to put some little light streaking across behind the engines, I think. Just a little bit. But other than that, now I can start doing, once the stop signs are done, I can start doing the groundwork. Getting some shrubbery and some grass in here, and, a, and the fences. Once that's done, it's just vehicles and the Mercury 9. So, we're close. We're really close. My checklist is down to about five items now, instead of just one or two. I mean, instead of like 20. So, I'm working on it. This guy finally figured out what his problem was. When I repaired it, I didn't quite get it soldered up over here the way it should be. So I have to tap it and it comes on. Anyhow, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'll figure out. I'll get it fixed. After all, I replaced the surface mount LED where there were no leads, so I can't say I'm complaining. Anyhow, guys, I'll be back later.